The box and whisker plot gives a visual representation of the five number summary and also shows both the range and the interquartile range. A box and whisker plot is the plotted information from our five number summary, so there are five different points that we need to plot. We need to plot our minimum point, our maximum point, as well as Q1, the first quartile, Q2, the second quartile, and our Q3, the third quartile value. Let's look at some examples. If we take a look at this plotted here, we will see that our maximum value is 14 and our minimum value is 8. So our range is from 8 to 14, which is 6 units. But our interquartile range is from our Q1 value to our Q3 value, which is indicated in this box, and that's from 9 to 12, so our interquartile range is going to be 3. And this line is our Q2 value, which is our median. The box and whisker plot also shows how data is skewed. When the median lies halfway between the minimum and maximum value, we say the data is symmetrical. Symmetrical data looks like a mirror image of each other. When data is symmetrical, the mean and median are very close together. But if it is skewed in another direction, when the mean is less than the median, the median lies closer to the maximum value, and we say that the data is skewed to the left or negatively skewed. It is called skewed to the left because it looks like it has a greater leaning towards the left. This is the left-hand side, so it's skewed to the left. When the mean is greater than the median, the median lies closer to the minimum value. We say that the data is skewed to the right or positively skewed. So skewed to the right would look more like this. It's important that you know how to identify how the data is skewed. It is skewed to the left or it is skewed to the right. And what is the relationship between the median and the mean in those cases?